Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny, and this is Coffee Break with Danny, where we are on an endless search for the perfect coconut fragrance. Just kidding, I think we're done. I think we're done here. I think we have enough suitable options to scratch my coconut itch. I think we have enough options to scratch my sun tanning oil, sunscreen scented, beautiful summery fragrance itch. Like, I think we're there. And we're there thanks to you guys for all your fabulous, amazing, spot on recommendations. I think it was very misguided on my part when I was asking you guys for suggestions. So it wasn't until I really figured it out that you guys were able to really give me suggestions of what I was actually trying to describe. So it's totally my bad, it was totally on me. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, for the last few months, I would maybe say even close to a year, I've been talking about wanting to find the perfect coconut fragrance. I talked about it in vlogs, I asked you guys for recommendations. I actually also included it in a part one version of this kind of video where I hauled several coconut fragrances. I told you which ones were hits, which ones were misses, or where they fell short. So after I did that haul, a lot of you guys came in, flooded me with recommendations. I bought a bunch. A lot of them were misses. A lot of them are hits. But they're also all over the spectrum on the scents on the scents of these fragrances. So it was a really telling experience because I was telling you, I want a coconut fragrance, but that smells like tanning oil and sunscreen. Those are three different things. You know what I mean? Like coconut smells like one thing. And then within coconut, is it toasted coconut? Is it young, co is it young coconut? Is it green coconut? Like is it coconut water? Like what kind of coconut are we talking about? And then sunscreen, sunscreen has a very unique scent to it, which a lot of people don't like. Some people think it even smells a little chemically. And then there's the tanning oil scent, which again, the spectrum is very wide on what it smells like, and a lot of people don't like it. I did get several comments that were like, it sounds like the kind of fragrance you want would be in like a hairspray can at the drugstore. You guys, did any of you ever use Tribe? <laughs> The perfume tribe if you don't know what I'm talking about that was my scent when I was not of age to know that they sold better perfumes <laughs> tribe was my jam okay so I'm gonna show you guys the perfumes that I got the hits the misses the whys the uh, I don't know the the scents I'm terrible at describing things so I'm gonna try my best but the majority of these were not misses they just weren't hits for me so they weren't something that I would keep for myself but some of them were dupes some of them were wow totally not what I expected and they're awesome and we're gonna get into it right now my very very favorite number one that is so interesting for me to say out loud is Mansara Holidays. That is this little guy right here. This is actually the smallest bottle and it's $95. If you guys wanna see what the actual packaging looks like, this is the box. So you can tell like automatically, this is gonna be a fancy schmancy, not from the drugstore hairspray bottle perfume, okay? <laughs> So it comes in the cute little pouch, which I thought was really cool. It lasts all day into the next day. And if you don't shower the day after that, the lasting power on this is freaking amazing. So it is kind of pricey. It is cologne. It's for men and women. This is the small bottle. And let me actually pull up the scent notes so that I can describe it to you in a very fancy, eloquent way because I don't know what I'm talking about. So if you guys wanted to try out Mansara Holidays, the notes are going to be coconut bergamot, tiara flower, sea, liang liang, vanilla pod, sandalwood, and white musk. Did I say liang liang right? I hope I did. It is a very interesting fragrance to describe to you guys it's like the perfect hybrid of a winter fragrance and a summer fragrance. I could see myself using this throughout the entire year. It is sweet. It does smell like coconut, but it smells like a very luxurious, refined perfume. When you put it on, you really feel like you're wearing an expensive perfume, and I don't think I'm 
know what that's like. The cap itself is really cool too because it's twist. I don't know why I'm sharing that with you guys, but you twist it on and then you twist it off and then it has a, like a spray. But I've never had a perfume that lasts this long. So this is definitely my number one favorite from this haul and we have a bunch that we need to talk about. So my number one would definitely be Mansara Holidays. One of you guys recommended this. I'm so glad I bought it. I almost bought the full size and I didn't because I was like, it's kind of a steep price and I might not even like it. I should have. However, the lasting power, you need one to two sprays, which you guys know, more is more around here. You need one to two sprays and that's it. You're set for the day. The second one, my second place, my second favorite is the Guerlain Aqua Allegoria Coconut Frizz. Like, I look like I'm perfectly dressed to be talking about this bottle. Look at my nails, the bottle, it all, ma it all matches. Like I'm dressed like Aqua Allegoria right now. <laughs> So I got this guy at Sephora. This is the small size. And this is what I thought I didn't want. And it's my second favorite. This is a floral slash coconut scent. It smells a lot like flowers. A lot, you guys. So the notes on this one are coconut nectar, bergamot, common theme, water fruit, freesia, tonka bean, and sandalwood. I don't know why it doesn't say gardenia on here but I get really strong freesia slash gardenia scent and coconut. It's my favorite. The lasting power on this one is not bad, but it's also not all day. I would say about six hours. So wear it before you leave for work. And then when you get home from work, you probably won't be able to smell it. A way that I like to extend the scent of my fragrance is to put it on my clothes, but there's certain fabrics that you shouldn't spray perfume on. So always keep that in mind. So this is definitely my number two, but it's a floral coconut scent. So if you're not looking for that floral jazz, this is not gonna do it for you. My number three is shocking because I never thought that I would be including a body spray in this haul. And it's so interesting how it just worked out. So this is a body splash that my friend Martha sent me from The Good Candle. So if you guys don't watch my weekend vlogs, you have no idea what I'm talking about. But one of my good friends has a all natural candle company called The Good Candle. And she said she was at the mall. She saw this, thought of me, sent it to me. And you guys, when I tell you that what I was imagining in my brain that I couldn't properly articulate to you guys, this is what I was trying to describe. And in fact, I can't even describe it to you guys now. All I know is that when you smell it, you're like, yep, that's perf like that's coconut perfection. So it smells strongly of coconut, but it is a little toasted and it has a hint of vanilla. A hint. Like if vanilla just walked by and just accidentally sneezed, you know, just like a little hint of vanilla. So you have that strong, heavy coconut scent with a little bit of toastiness and a splash of vanilla, and that's what this smells like. The only problem with a fragrance mist is that it doesn't last all day. In fact, the lasting power of a fragrance mist is like maybe two to three hours. So I wanted to mention it. It is definitely my top three, but if it lasted a little bit longer or if this came in an actual perfume, Lord have mercy, it would have been my number one. So this one, Bath and Body Works, you guys. If you go to Bath and Body Works, try this splash. You are not gonna regret it. I do feel some type of way with the packaging. Like I know they're going for a more natural, organic look, but I think it, I think it doesn't do it. It doesn't, it does it a disservice to look this way. It doesn't make me want to reach for it and smell it. You know, it's like, is that a, is that a spray for the bathroom? Is this a shampoo? Like it doesn't look like a beautiful fragrance mist to me. You know what I mean? So that's maybe like my own com my only complaint. My number four, and this is a number four because if I'm not in the mood that day, I don't like how it smells. Usually I like how it smells, but sometimes if it's like gloomy outside or if it's raining, the last thing that I want is to smell like sunscreen. <laughs> If it's a yucky day, putting on a sunscreen smelling fragrance upsets me. Like it makes me cranky like a toddler. Bobbi Brown Beach. <sighs> it smells 
divine. If you want to be transported in that moment in time to a vacation, a beachy pool, like poolside vacation, Bobby Brown Beach. This is one of those fragrances that smells very similar on everyone. It's not one that changes. Like your body chemistry isn't gonna make this change super weird. Like some, like Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb, holy mackerel. That thing on different people smells so different. On me, I don't wanna talk about it right now. Like I, I don't. I don't, I don't need to talk about it. So Bobby Brown Beach, you guys, I'm gonna read you guys the notes because you'll know I don't know how to describe things very well. We got Jasmine Sand, Seawater, and Mandarin Orange. I think when we talk about Mandarin Orange, that's when you smell like sunscreen. There's something about that type of orange that just reminds you of the beach. But yeah, Bobby Brown Beach, 1.7 ounces. It was $80. I got mine at Sephora. The lasting power is confusing. It's deceptive because I will put it on and you guys know I, I put on everything in excess. I mean, look at how much glitter is on my eyes right now. <laughs> so I put it on and I don't smell it anymore. But when I take off my clothes and I waft it, it smells a lot like this fragrance. So I think it might be one of those that your nose gets really comfortable with and you just don't smell throughout the day. So I'm assuming the lasting power is pretty long, but you just get used to the smell and don't smell it anymore. Whereas this one, the entire time you're wearing it, you are aware that you're wearing it. You can smell it the entire time. You guys, it's in my car, it's on my seat belt, it's anywhere I've been when I wear this perfume, it's there. I'm like Pepe Le Pew, but in a good way. <laughs> So Beach from Bobbi Brown is probably my number four. I definitely do not regret purchasing it. I will be purchasing it over and over again when I run out. It is a, it is like a resort vacation in a bottle. But again, if the weather outside is not matching, I'm like, I'm feeling some type of way, okay? Then you guys told me about this. Essentials Lazy Summer. This is a vegan, all natural, cruelty free, small batch, compostable, recyclable brand from Amazon, you guys. And it is the Lazy Summer version. So that's what it looks like when it arrives. Now this is completely recyclable. The idea is that you take off the spritzer and then it turns into like a little vase that you can reuse. I did not anticipate liking this so much. It is definitely, you know, in the top. I mean, it, it's worth mentioning. It reminds me a lot of maybe like grassy, fresh lemon, uh, lemongrass, like that lemony Fruit Loop scent. It's very fresh. It smells so clean. It smells really, really beautiful, really clean. Like if you're smelling a really clean beach is what it reminds me of. And it reminds me of a very organic scent like grass, lemongrass, palm trees, a breeze, lemon, like fresh citrus. The only downside to this guy is that it lasts maybe three hours, but it's like, the best three hours. You know what it reminds me of? I know I mentioned grassiness and like lemongrass, but it's sort of like a salty coconut and orange blossom. It's like the perfect, like a salty coconut, not a sweet coconut, not a toasted coconut, like a salty coconut, like that oceany air and orange blossom. It smells so good, you guys. So Essentials Lazy Summer, they're different varieties as well too. So if you guys like those all natural, organic, cruelty-free vegan fragrances, you might enjoy this brand. They also have body lotions and other body care products. I do have two honorable mentions and we are overdue on including these. The first one is JLo's Miami Glow. Now I'm torn with this fragrance because it smells good but it definitely smells like those drugstore perfumes that spray out like a hairspray. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. Do you guys remember, and I'm gonna date myself here, do you guys remember late 90s with the scrunchy mousse hair, uh, finesse, Aussie, suave, 
if herbal essences at that time herbal essence had just launched their mousses and they smelled so good so you would see the girls walking up to high school super freezing cold without a jacket their hair looked super wet and if you can imagine being in that moment and that girl walking past you do you remember that smell like the way she smelled she smelled like fresh delicious i just showered my mousse smells amazing so if you can remember that moment that nostalgic moment of when you were middle school high school however old you were maybe even college that smell of the mousse that's what this smells like it smells like wet mousse <laughs> it smells great but i don't think that it's where i want to be in life right now <laughs> i think that moment for me has passed I don't see myself wasting this. I definitely do think I could get through it and use it up. I do enjoy it, but I enjoy it more on a nostalgic level. So if you guys have never tried JLo's Miami Glow, did I even say the name? I don't think I mentioned the name. So Miami Glow from JLo or Jennifer Lopez, the notes are passion fruit, coconut milk, grapefruit, orange blossom, vanilla, musk, and amber. It smells like mousse. <laughs> I love how mousse smells for the record. However, I'm almost 40 <laughs> and I want to smell maybe more like this and less like this. <laughs> so it is an honorable mention because I did enjoy it. I did like it, but I just can't see myself. I can't see it becoming a permanent rotation fragrance for me. Oh, and it only lasts two to three hours on me. Another honorable mention would be Harajuku Lovers in G. I spent $14 on mine and I got it at uh, Nordstrom Rack, or rather I ordered it from Nordstrom Rack. It was 14 bucks. This smells really good. It lasts maybe four hours on me. This is, this is a smell that I would very organically find on like a 16 and 17 year old. This reminds me of someone that is a huge Ariana Grande fan and has, you know, stickers on her Switch or her iPad. And, you know, just that it's a very young, young scented fragrance. So the notes on this are whipped cream, coconut, woody, wood and musk. It smells so sweet, fresh, but sweet. It lasts you know, four or five hours. I, I love it. I just don't think I could pull it off. I really don't. I think I would smell this on, you know, my bonus daughter, my 14, 15 year old. It, it just, it would, it just smells pretty and young. And I don't think that I could leave this comfortably on my vanity, you know, <laughs> it's a doll. <laughs> smells really good. I love that you guys recommended it because I do. I love it. I just don't think I could pull it off. I really don't. I do want to mention a dupe. So a lot of you guys told me about the Physicians Formula Butter line, and you said that they launched a perfume to be a part of the Physicians Formula Butter line, but you have to order this. So you have to order this $20 kit. It comes with all of these makeup products just so that you can get this little perfume bottle. So when I got it, I was like, oh wow, that is miniature. Look how little it is. Oh my, just so little. It's called Butter Paradise. You know what this is an exact dupe for? Sol de Janeiro's Cheirosa 62. So if you wanted to try something like this but don't want to break the bank, you would have to spend the $20 on the kit and you would get it to try out. I know they do have a smaller version of this so you also don't have to get the big bottle, but it smells the same. It is an exact dupe for it. I didn't have much luck with this and I sprayed it a few times. It just doesn't last on me. I can't smell it after an hour or two. So maybe you guys would have different luck. It did not last on me very long, but this is a perfect dupe for it. So I wanted to make sure to mention it so that you guys are aware. It does have that vanilla, caramel, nutty coconut scent to it. So it's very summer, but it's also very warm. It is a very warm fragrance. I saved the worst for last. There are three fails in this perfume review slash haul slash update. The first one is the Hawaiian Tropic Golden Paradise Fragrance Mist. This was about $14 on Amazon. I was very excited about it. 
I was very excited about it because when I told you guys I want to smell like Hawaiian Tropic, you guys were like, then just buy Hawaiian Tropic. And I was like, duh, why didn't I think about that? So these were limited edition. It was a collection of three body splashes from Hawaiian Tropic. And this is the one that's supposed to smell just like their tanning oil. I don't know what it is about this, but it doesn't make me feel like, oh yeah, I'm putting on tanning oil. It's just offensively strong and it does not fade. It lasts all day <laughs> and it just wasn't it just wasn't my jam I sprayed it on two occasions and I just I couldn't do it it was very 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 strong I just don't think I can carry that strong of a fragrance it is very potent it lasts all day but it just I couldn't pull it off so I had to pass on that that was a fail another fail which I was super disappointed were the Demeter 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 whatever so this is a brand that Sephora actually used to carry and the whole point of this brand was that they take things found in the normal world and turn it into a perfume so if you wanted to smell like waffle cone you could smell like waffle cone if you want to smell like chocolate chip cookie you could smell like chocolate chip cookie fresh cut grass so they mimic scents that are found in like the normal world so when I saw that they were only $21 a piece and they had suntan lotion, spring break, and coconut. I was like, uh, as to cart. <laughs> so I got three because more is more. And to me, they smell like alcohol. Not like alcohol, just like straight up alcohol. It's hard to pull the scent from them. It felt like one of those things where you're trying to get a dupe for something, but then you just get duped. So the quality I don't think is there. And a lot of you guys mentioned this brand and said that it was your tried and true for years and you love it so much. You get all kinds of different sizes too. It comes in so many different sizes. I just, I didn't have luck with it. I don't know if it's the formulation. Maybe my nose is a little more discerning, but I didn't, I couldn't really pull out the fragrance. All I could smell was alcohol. And then the last and final fail, which I was so bummed out about because you can tell the quality in this brand is there and I just picked the wrong one. So the Comtois Sud Pacific Cocoa Extreme. So this brand Comtois, Com, Comtois is so good. The quality of their perfume or their fragrances is, is, is intense. Like it is a good quality fragrance. However, this just smells like coconut. <laughs> this was my fault. I made the wrong choice. If you go on their website, they have a coconut vanilla, they have apricot, they have mango, and they nailed those scents. But I was like, I want to smell like coconut, so I'm going to get the coconut one. Y'all, it just smells like coconut, but it doesn't smell beautiful it smells like food and I don't want to smell like food I want to smell beachy fun warm resort vacation sun you know like that's what I was going for and I really just I smell like a snack <laughs> not that kind of snack <laughs> so I'm gonna post this on my Poshmark as well because I don't I don't I can't pull it off you know I can't I can't pull off smelling delicious like I want to smell pretty and fun I don't want to I don't want to smell yummy. <laughs> so my ultimate, ultimate, ultimate must-haves in this video, if you want the straight up delicious coconut scent, not edible delicious, but like beautiful, pretty, fun, coconutty scent, the Body Splash Coconut from Bath & Body Works is where it's at. If you want to smell unique, like what is that? Such a unique fragrance profile, you guys. Mancera Holidays will break the bank a little bit, but I, I'm telling you, I can't properly describe it to you. It's fruit, it's fruity, it's fresh, it's toasted, it's, it's, it smells gorgeous, you guys. I always get asked, like, wow, you smell, I went to Home Depot. I went to Home Depot because I was trying to get potting soil for my succulent that's dying and I don't want to talk about it right now. I was trying to buy the right kind of soil for her and I got asked twice at Home Depot what perfume I was wearing and it was this one. And then the last one that you definitely, definitely, definitely need if you like coconut slash floral is the coconut frizz. Frizz. <laughs> frizz. Frizz, coconut frizz. No, coconut fizz from Guerlain is is amazing. It smells so good. Man, my two sleeves smell so nice right now. <laughs> I was like, wait, what is that? 
Oh yeah, I remember. Definitely. So my number four, I had to pick four, you guys. Like I, I had to, I had to summarize. I had to bring closure to this event, this major coconut event that we were going through. I had to give you guys closure. So these are my top four, but anything, everything, all of the fragrances that I talked that I included in this video, I will list a link in the description box below. Always keep in mind with fragrance that they smell differently on everyone. The longevity is different on everyone and you don't always have to get the really big bottle. If you want to try something out, go for the smaller one and I think you'll feel a lot more confident in your purchase than if you went ahead and got the big daddy and then regretted it. For example, <laughs> We don't need to talk about this. I'm regifting it. I'm regifting it because it doesn't smell good on me, okay? So I will list and link all of these perfumes in the description box below. They do come in size ranges. So if you wanna try it out and you don't wanna bite the bullet and get the big daddy size like I, I did with this one, this is, this is I think, the in-between size. It's probably a good idea, especially if you're venturing out into like, I don't know, say the new world of coconut. I appreciate your guys' input so much. You help me navigate through this coconut adventure so well. I'm so excited that I get to put this beautiful doll on my vanity now. No, I, I, I just... Anyway, you guys, like any and all my videos, anything I mentioned, anything I'm wearing, my lip color, my nail color, everything will be listed in the description box below. Uh, and I think that's it. I love you guys so much. And you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time. This coffee break is over. Bye guys.